But one person out of three in our society has cancer. This is ridiculous to wait till everybody has cancer. The best thing is preventing, and this you can do with Hildegard Remedy. And this is the biggest mistake in the pharmaceutical company today is that they don't look in nature anymore. You don't have to you know, rediscover anything new. It's all there already. You only take it from nature, isolate it, and see what it does. When I started in 84, I had about a half a patient a week because Dr. Hanska was not there. He, he, we worked together 17 years. We wrote a lot of books. So it's very slowly it increased and increased. And I said, three years, I'm going to make it. And then I'm going to say, see how it's gone. And after three years, it was uh, building up. And today I have so many patients. Uh, I wish I had more help. I wish I had anybody who could help me and do it without treatment because the patients love it dearly. I treated, in the meantime, 30 years, about 30,000 patients, 30, patients. What I also feel, and this is very spiritual, Hildegard is the first one and the only one who has a Christian system of medicine in respect of a holistic system. She has spirituality, theology, cosmology, she has music and healing arts, and she has all in, in her books, in, in her work included. And this is our uh, traditional healing system in the Western world. She had gardens, she grew herbs. There's a whole book of herbal um, medicine that she developed. Uh, you know, natural healing. She's, she's one of our first, our, an ancient natural healer. And many of Hildegard's practices of using an egg for healing, of using herbs, of using stones, those are in the curandero, curandera tradition.